All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And as always, I pray Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Allow these lessons to be edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right, I'm in the book of uh, First Peter, chapter one, and um, if you do a little bit of you know history and recap upon this letter, you know you know that Apostle Peter he was in you know he was heavy, he had a heavy heart because of the persecution, which goes back in the time that this letter was written in the time of Nero. All right, when Nero burned down Rome. And blamed it on the Israelites. All right. And Peter was given the inspiration, you know, and hope for the Lord's hopeful elect at the time to continue to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and to hope, you know, for that salvation. All right. So Apostle Peter, you know, was speaking to the hopeful elect. There's always been an election. Of the Lord's people. All right, and it goes back to the very beginning. So I just want to read a little bit here, and uh, Lord willing, I pray you know it be edifying because you know when you look at the time today, we're in the beginning of sorrows, and also the beginning of Jacob's trouble. All right, and the more and more they come up with new strains of the, um, they come up with new strains of the crown royal more draconian laws are going to be passed all right things are going to get more intense more challenging all right being changed into a low state you know things are going to get tighter so what manner of person are we to be in all holy conversation and godliness all right looking for the grace and peace to be multiplied in these times you know looking for to be forward let me say looking forward to be uh, stable all right so this is what the knowledge and understanding is for as the scriptures say to keep us what stable all right first peter's chapter 1 verse 1 peter an apostle of yahweh mashiach to the strangers scattered throughout pontus galatia cappadocia asia and bithynia it says elect according to the foreknowledge of yahweh the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. All right, so what are we looking for is uh, grace and peace through these tough times to come, you know, which, you know, which our minds, you know, should have that meditation and a uh, thought of uh tribulation you know not to be a spirit of folly spirit of uh you know the spirit of um you know living life according to the flesh you know now how bashim Shah gives us a balance so of course we're not miserable we're not miserable in the, in the mindset of you know we have no hope but we do have the spirit of bitter Bitterness, you know, the Lord said, uh, uh, those of a contrite heart and a broken spirit, okay, these will be what? His hopeful elect, all right? So, yeah, we're going to have some times where we, we're good, you know, we feel good. We rejoice, of course, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, getting up with the brothers, you know, things might be just flowing for you, but then it's times where... You know, you in a uh, heavy manifold temptation. You know, you got a heavy heart. And sometimes everything could be flowing, but you can still have a heavy heart because it's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, managing our thoughts and weighing upon our spirits. He's pressing upon our souls. All right. So that what we may be separated from the world today. You know, so don't, so the scriptures say, take it cheerfully. You know, when thou art changed to a low estate, because truly that's, 
you know, what we can see was coming. But, you know, scriptures say, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Now, verse three, blessed be Yahweh, the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead. So blessed be Yahweh the Father, our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, which according to his abundant mercy, so the Lord has mercy, and we're here to seek that mercy. Okay, this is why, you know, we want you don't want to, you know, be a part of the world. You don't want to, you know, live in, in pleasures. Scriptures say, uh, she that liveth in pleasures is dead while she liveth. You know, that refers to a woman that lives in her folly, you know, in her own mind and is fantasy and not reality, but it pertains to men too. You know, a lot of guys live in pleasure, man. If they're not pleasuring themselves, they don't feel right. You know, so that applies to men too. He that, well, she that lives in pleasures is dead while she liveth. All right. So we see, we can vision and see what's coming down the pipe because of the word of the Lord. Remember, the Lord said, uh, before things spring up, I tell you of them. So this is how we're able to see because the Lord tells us of these things. He prepares our minds to know these things. All right. To expect these things. He, he warns us while we warn others, which is of the whole four elect. So it says, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fate if not away reserved in heaven for you because that's the kingdom. All right. When Yahweh Shai come with the healing in his wings, man. All right. We're going to be be made into an inheritance, incorruptible, undefiled. You know, can you imagine, you know, being able to, uh, well, let me say, can you imagine E not ruling over you? Imagine how the earth will fill, the, will fill, you know, imagine not waking up and having to go to work every nine to five. All right. Imagine, you know, your woman in order. You know, you got everything a heart could wish for, which is all resources. Imagine not worrying. Imagine not being hurt, being sick. You know, this is the promise that is given to us. This is the inheritance that we were looking to inherit. That incorruptible and undefiled. It says, and that fadeth not away. Never will we fade again. Because why? We won't die. All right. We will truly fulfill the scriptures of Psalms 82 when it said, ye are gods. All right, we would be gods, meaning the lowercase g, meaning a power, okay, powers, power over the other nations. So it says, in fate, if not away, reserved in heaven for you. It says, who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. And right now, you know, you can say this is the end. You can see this is the end. There's so much going on, man. So much. You know, things ain't going to look better for this place because the plan from these elites, starting with those Rothschilds, those international bankers, the house of the Rothschilds, they are gunning to destroy this old way of Babylon the Great. All right. And the way of buying and selling and the way of... um you know, you living your life with freedom. All right. There's a, a, a article that just came out about how E, which is nothing new. He's just revealing his powers. He has a satellite that can, you know, look through buildings, you know. So really, could you hide from E? No, because the scriptures say in Isaiah 14 that he wants to sit in the seat of the most high. He wants to make his nest among the stars of the Most High, you know. But the scripture do say, then, down, then the Lord will bring him down. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back to this. First Peter's 1 and 1. I don't want to misquote. I've been doing that lately. Uh, mixing scriptures together. 
you know, they all in my head. I just need to pull it up and read it. Sometimes the word and be off a little bit, but, you know, Lord willing, you're getting the point. Um, this is uh, Isaiah 14 and 14. Matter of fact, I started at 13. It says, for thus has said, for thou has said in thy heart, which is E, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high. I will I will sit and also I will sit also in the mount of the congregation in the size of the north. You know, look at E with uh Mr. DJ Trump. What what he done this year is revealed that the UFOs are real, which we call them IFOs, identifying flying objects, which are the angels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that ride in those vehicles doing the works of the most high. And he's also established a space force, you know. They talk about having uh, things done in space. You have Elon Musk who admitted that he's been working on space stations. He's been going back and forth to the space station. So they have it. And it's not just created today, uh, this year. All right. It's been going on for years. Now they're finally completing and accomplishing their goals. They're revealing these things, just like this new satellite that they revealed, which is not new. All right. I was I remember years ago with this satellite. I remember this guy was explaining how it can it can uh, they can watch you in real time, you know, and they can literally be looking at you and you don't even know they're looking at you, you know, no matter where you go in the world. And he was showing um, he was showing you in a video how it works, you know, how they, they had the, uh, you know, the, uh, pitches and. Not pictures, but they use videos and, you know, 3D the best way they can to show you the power of that technology, you know, but this was a few years ago. So anyway, with that being said, that is E-Mindset. All right. Let me go back to 1 Peter, the first chapter. All right. And um, uh, verse 4, to an, inheritance, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled. And that fate, if not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. It says, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if needs be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation. See, it's time to rejoice and it's going to be a time to mourn. All right. But we're praying, you know, that, hey, through our heavy manifold temptations, okay, being uh, our, our, our minds being pressed, being challenged, you know, may the Lord give us that, that peace, grace, and mercy so that we can rejoice in his name, giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, so that we may please the Lord. Because these things have to be done. Jacob, all right, two thirds got to be destroyed. You know, there's judgment that's coming. And these people don't see it. They come across your video, you know, hit your like on your video or so, you know, and move on. Or they dislike your video or leave a nasty comment. Or they leave a comment saying we don't, you know, this and that about what, what we preach, what we prophesize about. But the world... You know, these people today, which the elite call them sheeples, they don't understand that the Heavenly Father is about to bring judgment. And you're going to be judged according to everything you have done in the flesh, whether good or bad. So we of the whole four elect is to warn, you know, to get this blood off our hands as well, to warn, condemn, reprove and rebuke, you know, and main, you know, and also I can't forget to exhort Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because it's all for the glory and power, all right, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right. You know we are glory when Yahweh Shai gets His glory, so it's not about us; it's about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right. So let's continue. It says, um, "Hey, also too, it says temptation, making me think of uh, Revelation three and ten. We want to be." Uh, Exempt from the hours of temptation, you know, exempt from the how the hours of temptation, you know, what happens when you can't buy or sell because you won't take the mark. 
All right. Right now it is setting the stage that you don't take the V. <laughs> you won't have a good job. You know, you may lose your job. So we're in that gradualism and conditioning. All right. It's not going back to the old way. This is the new way until Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, man, until the end. So this is what the beginning of sorrows and the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And Elder Apostle Tahar, he did a very edifying video, which I wanted to uh, put together on his uh, put his clips together and put on a page and into one video, which he talked about the hyperinflation. Hyperinflation is coming to America. Given all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rukakodash. And I don't know where I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to go with the spirit. And the first thing I did was I put in the word. I went to Google and I typed in the word uh, hyperinflation. Then I put in hyper hyperinflation can occur when. And he gave you the vision. He gave you understanding. He gave you knowledge. And he gave you a vision to see the times we in. As the scriptures say. Second Edges 9, measured thou the time diligently in itself. You know, he surely measured the time that we're in by, by knowing the money, you know, knowing how money 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 works, you know, by, by knowing the uh first and foremost the scriptures, all right, being a scholar, you know, being a prophet, being a historian, you know, hey, that's why we give double honors to our apostles, man. You know, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar because they got it all, all right? Uh, hopeful elect, we want to follow in that stead, you know, so that we can also, you know, put out the works for the Lord's hopeful elect to awaken, you know, so that they can get it. You know, this is all about the elect. All right, so let's move on, right? Verse 7, it says that the trial of your faith, see, the trial of our faith, we're going to be tested, being much more precious than of gold, that perish it, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's music, man. It says that the trial of your faith being much more pressure, precious than of gold that perish it. So our faith is more precious than gold and silver, than a Federal Reserve note. Then fame and vainglory, okay? Being a celebrity, being on social media, being on television, being a star athlete, okay? Our faith that is a gift from the Heavenly Father is way more precious than a gold that perisheth. It says, though it be tried with fire, you know, be tried. It says, tried and what? Made white to be purified. It says, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So Yahweh Shai is coming. All right. Yahweh Shai is coming back. He's coming back. All right. And the world is going to be in, in, a, in an uproar. The, the, as he said, this place is going to be on fire already. And people are going to be unaware of his appearing. But not us. All right. Us of the whole four elect. We know, okay, we of the knowing, verse 8, whom having not seen, ye loved, and whom through, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. You see, even though we don't see the Lord now in, in our fleshly eyes and see his bodily appearance, you know, but we rejoice in the Lord. We believe. You know, that's precious, man. You, you got to remember, the Lord is going to show mercy unto us because we believe in him while he in his absence. That's 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 amazing, man. You know, and people think we're crazy. Scriptures say we're fools for your house, I say, you know, hitting them highways and byways, hitting them corners on the streets and prophesizing. People think we're crazy, you know. But guess what, man? You know, the Lord is going to show mercy. So don't forget that, man. It says, whom having not seen, ye love. How, what is love? Love is keeping his commandments. 
by doing the works. It says, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. It says, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. So never get, you know, so shooken up and, and you know, have doubt because the Lord is going to be there for us, man. You know, look, I, I believe it was, I believe, you know, and it's my humble opinion. I didn't even know there was a trendy thing going on about spiritual powers, you know, among social media until I saw a brother post a video of, of this, uh, this young cat, young guy that be on social media doing these funny videos and he was doing it. Then, you know, someone I know showed me a bunch of memes and, um, it's, that's the spirit, you know, the Lord is putting it in the air. It's that what, what Esau does pre-programming, if I'm saying that right, you know, it's putting it in the minds already for his people to believe that we about to receive those powers because we are, you know, certain brothers who the Lord elect is going to receive powers, spiritual powers, not superpowers, but spiritual powers, you know, so it seemed like a funny meme and a joke, you know, Jake was all playing with it, but, you know, I just see it through the spirit that the Lord is, is going to, it's going to do these things and it's not going to be so far out of, out of people's minds because it's already been pre-programmed in their mind and it's expected. You know, we prophesied it just like the, we, you know, the prophets start with our apostles and elders and their elders. All right. And the brothers on down been prophesizing. All right. The word of the Lord. Spiritual powers is a part of the word of the Lord, you know, just like every other prophecy. So that means it's going to happen, too. You know, so I'm going to just leave it there. I know this lesson pretty long. I kind of just was flowing in the spirit. I didn't have a topic. I was reading first Peter's. And just wanted to be in the spirit of the Lord and read a few verses. So hopefully for who, you know, you brothers and sisters out there, hopefully like who see this video, hopefully, hopefully you're edified. So I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.